Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 4th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Always starting out here looking at space weather. Some images of our sun. 304 angstroms. Watching a lot of plasma filaments erecting. And one sunspot. Not much else to talk about. The equatorial coronal hole diminished. Looking at some pretty tall plasma filament eruptions off the northeast limb. Looking here, 211. Able to see the active plasma field on the sun. And as well, those plasma rings, oh yeah, wrapped around that sunspot. Definitely keeping an eye on this thing today. She could pop a pop off a little snap, crackle, pop. Much love to everybody, and thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the fact that you tune in every day to help stay aware and prepared to our planet as I am watching and I am sharing. So again, thanks everybody for joining Morning Dew. And if you ever wanna get into the live streams, they're pretty fun as well. Get into the chat section and meet all sorts of people from around the world. Looking here at our geospace magnetosphere. This is the velocity. So our solar wind speed is steady still at four to 450 kilometers per second. But overnight and early this morning, we did see a spike to 521 kilometers per second. Nothing too serious, but still, that's the most we've seen in about a week or so since we had the last spike. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it's been very interesting. Uh, yesterday I'd warned, watch out San Andreas. And then sure enough, we had the 4.9 in San Diego, California. In Aza. And as well, look at the earthquakes north into Idaho as well. So now the swarm is in Idaho and in California. Stay aware and prepared. Now this is another region where I had warned and a 5.4 struck Nikolskoy, Russia. There was a deep lower level low there. 4.8 in Japan. 4.8 here in China. 5.0 here. Solomon Islands. And a 5.3, the Tonga region right underneath that deep tropical cyclone herald. And as well, this region yesterday I pointed out 5.4 South Sandwich Islands and as well a 5.1. Now I had warned this region yesterday due to the low pressure systems that are there. Looking here is South America, 4.9. Argentina, pretty deep. Quiet across the Eurasian plate. Most of the action is North America now, centered all around the Yellowstone volcano. So everybody, just please, I know there are a lot of events right now that are uh, pushing people to get a couple weeks, maybe even a month worth of supplies. It's a really good thing to have two weeks of water, two weeks of food, and some survival supplies. You never know what can happen. We're still waiting for the big one. Everybody is on that Northwest plate, North America. So anytime you see me zoom in like that, those are my warned regions. That was the last seven days for earthquakes. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here. As we do have Tropical Cyclone Herald is officially a cyclone and it dramatically turned into a category four overnight and into today. 
That's right. It is now a Category 4 cyclone. Just wait, and I will be showing you satellite imagery of that. I'm going to give a quick update here on volcanoes from around the world. Most recent here, Reventador in Ecuador, Tacono in Indonesia, Nevados de Chile in Colombia, Karangatang in Indonesia. Now that was updated and awakened eight, year, eight hours ago. Fuego, Apopo, and as well Era in Japan, Sabankaya in Peru, Asosan in Japan, Sangay in Ecuador. So that is 12 volcanoes that got updated for activity overnight in the last six hours, actually. This is all in the last six hours being updated. Across the United States, watch for heavy rain. Coastal regions, Texas, as quite a low pressure system is developing along the convergence line. I'll probably go live later because there are some tornado threats amongst these storms that are going to be moving through Texas. Corpus Christi is already seeing a massive supercell in the Gulf Coast. So stay aware and prepare, my American friends. Coastal regions, Gulf Coast, but high pressure ridge moving into most of North America, keeping things dry. Spain, watch for heavy rains here, flooding conditions. And as well, still flooding conditions throughout Afghanistan, Iran, and up into northern Pakistan. Storms throughout Malaysia and north into South Thailand, and as well, storms northeastern India. Hopefully, my friend Steve in Thailand is getting some relief. Now here is a look at Tropical Cyclone Iron Dro, who is Category 2 and most likely will diminish head southward. But this is the beast I was talking about, Tropical Cyclone Herald, who has become a Category 4 and is about to smash into the Solomon Islands, New Caledonia, and then into Fiji. So stay aware and prepared. Southern Hemisphere, Solomon Islands, New Caledonia, and Fiji. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Always overlooking here, home base. Watch for storms to develop, as I said, through the Gulf and into the southeastern states later in the week. Cooler temperatures across Canada as the low-pressure system heads into Quebec. Brings a mixed bag of precipitation. To the Atlantic provinces. Big high pressure ridge across Europe, fueling in a lot of warm air from Africa. So they've got some summer like conditions as that high pressure ridge hangs around. Low pressure in the Mediterranean, trying to move eastward. Most likely will get ushered northward into Russia. Dominant high pressure ridge over China as well. Watch the convergence line. South China Sea and into South Japan. And this was the warned region here for earthquakes and volcanic activity as these deep lower level troughs are scooting across Kamchatka and North Japan. Now another event here. Please stay tuned for another video. I've got an extra special video to share about this low pressure system that's heading through the Pacific and will bring a nasty snowstorm throughout parts of Alaska and northern BC in the five-day forecast. And it's a very vigorous and large low-pressure system. I've been following it for a couple days now. As well, watching a low-pressure system northwest United States, bringing around some winter-like conditions as far as California, Sierra Nevada mountains. Cooler temperatures throughout the week, but watch as that High pressure ridge builds. We're going to see some warm temps after the five day forecast. I think this could be the end of the extreme cold temperatures. South America, heavy rains throughout Panama and, and as well Bolivia, and Paraguay. Daily evaporation rains to be a little bit more intense today. And then watching this vigorous low scoot off of South America. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about, daily evaporation rains, but some really cool temperatures moving into South Africa. 
I'd love to hear from my subscribers there. Please get in the comments section and let me know if this is normal for you guys. Overlooking Australia, same thing. Some cooler temperatures moving into the southeastern tip of Australia. And then Tropical Cyclone Herald, five-day forecast shows it slowly heading across New Caledonia and into Fiji. So stay aware and prepared, my Fiji friends. You have a tropical cyclone, possible Category 4, heading your way. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Much love to you all. Thank you for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. And stay tuned to the next video coming up today. Really important. I've got some very compelling evidence. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.